hanging out with the nerds in a voice chat. Opening cards, hey, what's in this pack? Banning cards as we go. What's the matter? I don't know. Tough picks, don't break. We'll break the game together. Right now, let's go. Yu-Gi-Oh! Knockoff! Progression GX! Alrighty, so, um... It was definitely a, a close one, uh, that, that last one, Elemental Energies. Uh, I'm I'm happy with how it went. We managed to sneak in a little victory there at the end. Definitely a, a nail-biter of uh, uh, episode, tournament, con whatever we're calling it. It was close. It was close. It was good, even fair matches with interesting interaction. Uh, sadly, our Dark World is dead. Uh, so we're we're having to build a brand new deck this week. So we're gonna see what we can supplement it with from the Shadow of Infinity. Now Shadow of Infinity does not have many good cards. Uh, starting off, the big three are all terrible, and in this specific meta, almost entirely unplayable. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to double check. But Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames, you need three continuous traps. I don't think we have three continuous traps. Uh, uh, Hamon, Lord of Striking Thunder, you need three continuous spell cards. Same problem. Uh, Raviel needs three fiend monsters. Raviel is the only one that is theoretically playable, I believe. Um, why you would choose to play it is beyond me. So, honestly, I hope we don't pull any of them, because that's just going to be a huge disappointment all around. Uh, we have Neo Bobman, who we can't use. We have Hero Kid. Yeah, it, it, it's all right. It gets stuff on the field. Um, we have the next... T well, we have some Cyber Dragon uh, support with Barrier and Laser. Um, Barrier, you need the Trap card. Laser, you need the Spell card. Uh, we cannot play Laser because we do not have two Cyber Dragons. We don't have the one. Uh, we couldn't play Barrier. Uh, we have some, um, some more Ancient Gear. However, we, ha we don't have Golem. I think we only have one Beast, so... Ancient gear ain't happening. Um, we do have Proto Cyber Dragon. Proto Cyber Dragon allows us to cheat having more than one Cyber Dragon. So theoretically, we could use these um, to create Cyber End if we have them on the field. We could use these to make Cyber Laser. So it is a potential, but no, there, there's not really enough stuff here to play machines. Uh, adhesive Explosive. It's a weird bit of removal, but hey, you can do it. So, um, yeah, it might slip in there as like just some defensive nonsense. Um, uh, machine King prototype. Now, uh, you need... <laughs> Even if the entire field was full... I need to yawn. Even if the entire field was full with nothing but machine monsters, and that is your side and your opponent's side, this thing can only net 900. Um, so a 2500 at best. It, it's not good. Like, it's not terrible, but it's not good. Um, BES, not going to play. Uh, DD Guide? There's some interaction. I, I guess you could DD Guide into a survivor you have in the graveyard and pop it into a remove from play and bring it back to the field. Like, there's, there's stuff you could do. Um, I think we have a DD Master on whatever it's called. So we have another different dimension card. So maybe there's something you can do with it. I don't know. I'd have to look into it. Probably not going to play it. Um, okay, so Chain Thrasher uh, and Disciple of Forbidden Spell. These are, the, these are quite weird cards. Where how they work is they get effect based on how many of the same monster in the graveyard. <sighs> I am so yawning. No, that's not a good sign. So Chain Thrasher, you gain an additional attack for every other Chain Thrasher in your graveyard. And the Disciple of the Bin Spell, uh, declare a different monster card attribute equal to the number of Disciple of the Bin in the graveyard. The card attacks the monster that has declared attribute. Throw the monster, this card effect, without applying damage. Okay. That's not terrible. You know, with two in graveyard, that's like, okay, so I can now destroy any light monster, any dark monster, any blah, 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 blah. 
that's not terrible. And the thing is, you really only need one in Graveyard to essentially turn one of these into instant removal of an opponent's card, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that is a maybe. Um, Tenkabito Shien is, yeah. It's a non-elemental hero uh, version of Wild Heart. And I need to stop yawning real bad. Uh, we have some bugs. Uh, bugs are all right in this set. Because uh, I think this is where we get Doomdozer. So, uh, number of tokens. Well, we don't have any token things. Uh, Gawky Pond is pretty good. It is a Witch of Black Forest for Insect. We have the Silent Insect when it's changed to Defense Edition. Oh, it is changed to Defense when it's Normal Summon. Negate the effect of Continuous Spells and Continuous Trap Cards. That's not bad. Um, there's, like, no continuous traps or spell cards, but anywho. Um, Chainsaw Insect is... It's okay? It's 2,400. So, you know, it means that we give our opponents three draws, but we can just go to, like, force them out. Just, like, go, 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 go. So, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, ant. Ant Eater Eating Ant. Oh, God, that is a horrible set of words. Say, ant eater eating ant, ant eater eating ant. Um, currently, normal summon or set. Uh, currently, special summon, except by sending two spell or trap cards you control to a graveyard. You can destroy one spell or trap card you control controls. If you activate this effect, uh, this card cannot attack during this turn. Okay, that's. It's a weird bit of spell and trap removal. So, uh, hey, keep that in mind. Uh, Saber Beetle, however is surprisingly good. Uh, one Tribute, 2400, um, and Piercing. Uh, I think we want to run Saber Beetle. Uh, ideally, we want to get we want to get Bugs. I, I think Bugs is the way to go. We have Doomdozer, which is a uh, special element by banishing two insect-type monsters from your graveyard. Can't be special in other ways. Uh, it's like Battle Damage, send the top card of their deck to a graveyard. Yeah, uh, we want Doomdozer. If we can get a bunch of Doomdozers, a bunch of Bugs, uh, I'm... I'm down for it. I would love that. Uh, Tree One Frog would be lovely, and uh, Belize Frog. Um, okay, Belize Frog can gain 300 for each tadpole. Assume there's three tadpoles in the graveyard at any given time. Can go up to 2100. 2100 ain't bad. Frogs is also an option because we still have Death Frog. We still have frog options from before. So um, might keep an eye on that. Uh, Pikaru Kuran. Honestly, I don't want to play them, and I'm not even going to look at them or think about them. Um, Memory Crusher, Malice Ascendant. Yeah, no. Memory Crusher, like, I've just read that. That's horrible. Like, it's not, it's not good, but it's funny. Deals damage depending on how many cards they have in that extra deck. Um... It's not good. Um, yeah, no, that's not good. A grass phantom, 500 attack for each grass phantom in your graveyard. Yeah, womp womp. Uh, sand moth, uh, face down defense position destroyed, graveyard. Uh, except by battle, switch the original attack and offense of this card, special summon it. That's not terrible, but it's very rare that it's going to get destroyed. Um, like, that is actually a very solid answer. Oh no, not by battle. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I know Dakota is on White Ninja, and I know Dakota, when he finds something he likes, he tends to stick with it. So that could be an amusing little counter to that. Uh, but I'd rather... I'd rather play good cards and not situationally hilarious cards. Um, Divine Dragon Excellion. So, when it's normal summon, get one of the following effects for each Divine Dragon Excellion in your graveyard. Uh, when this effect resolves your choice, uh, these effects cannot assume you a lot. Okay, so you got one. Uh, so you can, yeah, you, you can get up to two of these because you can only have two in your graveyard. You can't have three in your graveyard, but that'd be weird. Uh, Sierra, uh, gains a thousand. Which it kind of needs at only 1500. Um, destroys an opponent's monster by battle. It can attack once again in a row. Not bad. And uh, destroys a monster by battle. Sends it to graveyard and click damage for the monster. These are all alright. Um, I don't know if it's worth a one tribute. 
And you'd have to get three, and it's a super rare, so it ain't happening. But, hey, it it's an interesting idea for a card. We will give it that. Uh, we have Ruin and Demise. Ruin and Demise, both very good cards. Would love to get either of these, preferably Demise. Uh, there's no way for us to run the OTK. Um, but it exists. And so, yeah, they're, they're just good. Um, so the way Ruin works, you ritual summon it. That's fine. Uh, destroys the opponent's monster. You can activate effect. Uh, it can make a second attack, which is pretty cool. And Demise, you pay 2,000, destroy all other cards on field, which is pretty damn good. It, it's, it's just pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, I would like either, both, whatever, man. It's all good. Uh, then we have... Uh, D3S Frog, which would be really cool. Um, and against 500 attack for each Treeborn Frog in your graveyard? Yo. Yo. I would love to run frogs. I would love to run frogs. It ain't gonna happen. But I would love to run frogs. Um, let's just see what else we got here, because I'm taking way too much time going through these. Um, hero heart, so you have your E heroes attack and it can attack twice. Magnet circle, summon uh, level two or one. Level two or lower machine type on, sorry, to the field. Uh, from your hand, uh, ancient gear stuff, I ain't running it. Uh, Phantasmal martyrs. I ain't, I ain't looking at this. It's something for the, the silly sacred beasts. Not even worth acknowledging. Uh, Cyclone boomerang. We do need to be on the lookout for them because that gives our elemental hero users some removal. Um, it also might mean we have to slip in some wild hearts and cyclones of our own. Because, uh, yeah. Uh, Symbol of Heritage is actually not terrible. Um, it's not great, but it's not terrible. You need three of the same monster in the grave. And then you can bring it back. And um, then you can destroy this. Yeah, so it's like a monster reborn if you have three of the same monster engraved. Uh, if you can guarantee you're going to get three of the same monster engraved, amazing. Um, but other than that, it's not fantastic. Uh, Trial Princess is for the other ones, whatever. Uh, get Cyber Laser, Ruin and Demise, uh, Ancient Gear stuff. Uh, you put. Ritual, ritual monsters back in deck, not into graveyard. Super Junior Confrontation. So um, this is a weird trap. I remember it has like a very strange uh, interaction. So let's try and remember how this works. So activate only when an opponent's monster declares an attack. Negate the battle and one monster with the lowest attack in base of attack position. The opponent. Negate the battle, comma. And one monster with the lowest attack in face of attack position, your opponent controls battles, one monster with the lowest defense in face of defense position, you control after battle and the battle phase. It stops an attack. I guess. Um, Miracle Kids is Hero Kid stuff. Attack Reflect Unit is Barrier. Uh, damage Condenser. I do know Damage Condenser is pretty alright here. So uh, when you take damage, discard one card, special summon. Monster uh, with attack less than or equal to the amount of damage you took and face up attack position. So it's a way to special summon. It's it's pretty good. It is pretty good. Uh, Karma Cut is all right. It's a good bit of removal. So discard one, uh, target one face up monster opponent controls, banish. Banish all cards with the same name uh, from your opponent's graveyard. That's all right. That is not bad at all. Would love some Karma Cuts. Would love a couple of damage condensers. Uh, everything else, let's keep looking. I don't think there's much else to... Um, the next be lost, face up, monster you control. Uh, yeah, no. Not good. Generation shift, control, destroy the target, add one card. Da, 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 da. Yeah, not good. Yeah, this whole archetype, it's not an archetype, it's a mechanic of, we want monsters of the same name in the graveyard. Yeah! It's, it's not good. Um... Yeah. Or Salvo. So send your entire hands to graveyard and put 2,000 points of damage for each card you sent to graveyard by this effect. Is that an OTK? 
Hang on. If you open this, turn one. Can you just activate it the, on your opponent's draw phase? Discard four cards and win. But yeah, I get it. If they, if they negate it, I'm going to have to look into that because that feels like a way you just win. Oh, it's 200, not 2,000. I can't read. I can't read. I can't read. That's a terrible card. That's a terrible card. All right, let's moving on. God, if I was to mm. um option, I'm um, controls for my battle again. Life one, it was it. Okay, not bad. That's just like, hey, please don't hurt me. Uh, goblin out of the frying pan. So pay five hundred and get the activation of spell card. Return it to your hand. Mm. Uh, pay five hundred and get the activation of trap. Return it to its original. Yeah. All right. The, they're cards. They're cards. And with that, you know what? We're just going to... Uh, our overall ambition for all of this... Let's get... There we go. Let's try it out. 24. Our ambition... Uh, get stuff for frogs. Just could be funny. I'm probably not going to run it, but the idea of running it is perpetually in my mind. So uh, we'll, we'll keep track of that. So, frogs. There was something else. But I don't remember what now. Um, it was, it was like a couple traps. Uh, comma cut. Comma cut frogs. I think that's it. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what comes up. We'll see what we can do. So we've got 24 packs, sealed draft. We're going into Shadow of Infinity. Uh, let's zoomed out and in the right place. And... All right, 24 packs starting now. Um, all right. Adhesive Explosive was the other one that had some potential. Um, Disciple of Forbidden Spell has some, but hey, we got Belize. Beals frog, yeah, yeah, not not terrible, not not entirely terrible. Um, ruin, ruin and Armageddon, and that's what else we wanted, and we just popped a ruin. Thank you, and silver beetle, doom and every other thing, bugs. Uh, okay, yeah, cool, 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 yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Happy. Uh, got a barrier dragon. That's pretty cool. End of the world. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, so we can make use of that ruin. Um, and we have a Uriah of the Searing Flames. Useless card. Like, 100% utterly flipping useless. Um, cool. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Moving on. <laughs> oh, but you know what isn't useless? Demise! Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Demise. <laughs> I like Demise. Alright, I'm hoping you have some advanced ritual arts in... I, I think we should have some. So... Oh, yeah. Uh, another saber. Yep. Cool, cool. cool. And last pack. What we got? I would like to look at the pack, please. Uh, but I don't think there's anything to write home about. It was not. All right. Uh, but hey, we got Ruin and Demise. I need to check we have some advanced ritual arts and then see what normal arts we've got and just try to run ritual deck. 
Uh, it's going to be rough without uh, <laughs> without Sonic Bird and stuff like that. But hey, I think I know what I want to aim to bring back for next week. Alrighty. Uh, so, I'm going to go and build a deck. And I'll be back like as soon as I possibly can. So, I'll see you real, real soon. All right. <laughs> it's, um, it's something. <laughs> Honestly, I had no idea what to do here. So I just kind of went with what I felt would be funny. Um, so yeah, uh, we got this. I mean, I can try and do a, a card by card, but it's mostly, yeah, big bunguses. With very little uh, brain power. Let's try and break it down. So obviously we have our two, uh, our two, well, two out of three of our bigs, uh, being ruin and demise, because they're big. And honestly, level eight is pretty easy to make. Uh, we ruin. Uh, she can attack twice, which is pretty cool. Amazing, but she can attack twice. And Demise can just clear the board, which is really friggin' good. Um, we have Doomdozer, who we can summon, and then if you can get on my field, it can deal a lot of damage. Doomdozer is just a good card. It's just a good card. Um, we have our Cyber Dragon, because he's a uh, big bungus. We have our three Saber Beetle, who is going to be our primary attacker. That's just a 2400 one tribute uh, Irk. murder bug. That's what it's there for. Uh, we have Chainsaw Insect, who is... It's a very aggressive butt to hide behind, because it doesn't need to attack. Um, so I can just put it on my field and hold a turn and then sacrifice it for something bigger or whatever. But it is there, and if I can... 2400 is enough to go for lethal uh, in a lot of situations. So adding that onto what you've got will really help. Um, these are all pretty normal, unimpressive choices. Uh, we have Disciple of Forbidden Spell. We got we have three of them. The reason we have these this is a really good way to out a cart, like to out a monster that we don't have an out for. If we have one of a graveyard, we can summon another, and then we go when this one fights water monsters, when this one fights light monsters, we can destroy it, and we don't um, without applying damage calculation. So. Like, we lose ourselves as well, 9 times out of 10, but uh, it means we can just out a card, which is surprisingly good. Um, so we've got that. We have 3 Hydro Get On, because Hydro Get On just helps us maintain board advantage. Uh, Droroid to get rid of defenses. We have Witch, Sangan, and now Goki Pon to do some recruiting for us. Uh, Goki Pon can find all of our bugs except Doomdozer. Literally, the only thing we struggle to find now in the deck. Um, obviously, we have to hard draw uh, Ruin, Demise, Doomdozer, and Cyber Dragon. They are the only hard draw. Ah, and Drillroid. Okay, so we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six monsters that we have to hard draw. Everything else we can search, which is pretty good. Uh, and then we also have Tree Bond Frog. Tree Bond Frog is great tribute fodder for the likes of Sab Dragon if we need it, or Saber Beetle if we need it. Well, we, we probably will. But it's just, it's tribute fodder. Plus, it just gives us something on the field whenever we need it. Um, which is, it's pretty good. So, Tree Bond Frog. Uh, you must control no spell or trap cards to act. And to resolve this effect. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to have to remember that. I, I think that's been eroded. Um, I don't think that was always there, which is... Uh, um, so I will have to pay attention to that. Uh, spells, we got Monster Reborn, we got Raigeki, because they're just the big ones. Uh, we are running two parts of Avarice again. Last week, uh, we were getting bogged down a lot with this, so I'm hoping that now we're running like all monsters all the time. Uh, part of Avarice will come in and give us a bit of draw power. Uh, three, End of the World. Uh, I know we don't need three, but I'd rather increase my chance of drawing it because we don't have uh, anything to search uh, them with yet. So that's the plan. 
Uh, two Chthonian Blast, just because it's bad removal and we need some form. Uh, two Chthonian Polymer. These are trying to make heart, like blind reads. I am assuming that at least one or both uh, Teddy and Dakota will still be focusing on fusions. So keep that in the back. Uh, Karma Cut. Uh, discard one card, target one face up monster your opponent controls, banish that monster, target all cards with same name, and banish them from graveyard. It, it's just a decent bit of removal. Um, it's not the best, but it's some. And then Rising Energy, our one and only battle trap that allows us some uh, damage depth calculation. You know, being able to up by 1500 is pretty good. Um, so, yeah. That's the plan. Um, and uh, hopefully we can sneak out another win so we'll just jump on in to the duels take it away future me here we are with shadow of infinity duel number one teddy versus dakota uh good luck duelists have fun and uh let's see if we remember how to play card games Ooh, this doesn't book well remember how to play rack paper scissors Hey, that's what matters. That's about the third of this game. I mean, late as we get later on, it literally is who can get the first turn. So, immediately I can see Dakota is running an extra deck. Now, is that a bluff? Is Dakota still on E-Heroes? Has it been a shift towards Cyber Dragon? We don't know. Mind. Also, wow, Teddy sets one, like just one back. Set one and pass. So, hmm. and there's a, a follow from I O nine seven tie dye shirts. Cody, how the hell have you not been following this channel? You've been on this channel. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's easy to happen. Now, I'm, I'm wondering if I should be concerned for Teddy. Oh, uh, nope. Was no, I was just right thinking time. how I wanted to do this. Egg four. I was worried about that, but that's okay. Oh, oh. Mm. Depending on how well this deck I'm running works, I might go back to Dark World, but I kind of had to move away from it because uh, uh, it's good gotta cards. Got flip this one back face down. And I will summon my Spark Man to activate this. Okay, Mama I'll send Beige to the graveyard and banish your Spark Man. Okay. Okay, so that's just that one. That's it. Yep, there's none in the graveyard. Um, I believe Beige's effect activates because it has been discarded. Mm. Okay, so I, I do see what the, the thinking was. Do you want the special summon? Do you want to draw a card? Yep. It's a tough choice. Um, like, in, in my mind, drawing a card is probably it's gonna end my, turn. my usual go-to. But I see why wanting more board presence here is also a very good thing. I also have to wonder if Teddy has moved over to Dark World because they're all fiends. And with fiends, it would allow Ted Teddy to play Raviel, Lord of Phantasms. Which would be kind of hilarious if someone actually manages to summon a sacred beast. Okay. 
a normal summon burst Mm-hmm. Activate Skyscraper. Good call. Good call. Go in to hit Beige. You take six. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to my turn there. Okay. Definitely a, uh, a little bit of a slower game so far, but that's fine. You know, the... Personally, I quite like the game to start slow and then have the big explosive things because it's one of my big issues with modern Yuga. You see people take like 10 minute long turns setting up a whole board for it then to get wiped with one dark hole. And you go, well, uh, that's game. First, I activate Raigeki. Damn, it's battle. Uh, Scar. Normal oh. summon a second Spark Man. Attack directly. Those Scars were. That would have been a really good. I mean, how are you, how are you going to predict the one of Raigeki? Like, aside from. We almost mm. always see Regeki. And my turn. Yep. I'm still amazed Regeki never got banned. We did ban it. We, it got unbanned. Uh, the, right. I think after this session it could be banned again because it was it's been two sessions. Because it got unbanned and then brought over, and then I think we still had the two session agreement. Just because it's it's just a good card, and I think the reason actually I think it's been more than two sessions, but I think it wasn't banned initially because there was so much other stuff that was causing more issues than Raigeki. Yeah, that sounds about right. There, there's always a more pressing thing. You know, you know the, the statue. Ugh. The goddamn statue! I can't believe that was. Like the most dangerous thing in our meta for a week there. You got, you got tur- you turn one, you got statue on the field, you were set. Uh, yeah, let me that. You got statue on the field and you got a defense for it. Oh. Okay. So, cannon. Hmm. Hmm. Right this card, what? Oh. That oh see, see see it's not gonna work the way I want it to because I'm in a precarious position and I have to play it when I don't want to and I have to choose to discard a card that I don't necessarily want to. Mm. Uh, but hopefully and then set one spell card so He gets pulled directly from a deck, yeah. So I was going, oh, because that would actually have really good Dark World synergy, which I assume is what you were waiting for. Yes. But it, it's still pretty good, and Magical Explosion is also... <laughs> so Magical Explosion is very weird. I think it's actually currently on the limited list, uh, but it sat at semi-limited for a little while. Because there was a really, really disgusting setup where you could essentially cycle through most of your deck using spell cards and then magical explosion three times for game. Uh, once you got, uh, what is it? It's 200 for each card. It is currently sitting on the limited list. Yeah, like it, it's been all over it. It's been banned, it's been semi limited, it's been limited. But um, uh, off the top of my head, what? You need. 14 spell cards in grave uh, and three magical explosions to win. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a big bummer. Um, I think you can't for- activate it. Well, that and uh, the card I wanted, for- I must have, because I. 
assumed that the card that was missing from the deck was Monster Reborn. But it, <laughs> it was always is missing. <laughs> but it was the uh last ritual of the ancients. I guess was what was missing. And that's uh, the yeah, that's, wanted... that's, that's why I always like keep backups of it in EDO Pro. Yeah, I just didn't check it. That that's my bad, but I mean, um, for the game two, you, you can make that switch because you know that's what you wanted to have. You cannot do that because you can't su you can't summon monsters the turn you activate that effect. You already summoned the monster this turn. Uh, yeah. So for some reason, I read it special summon. I mean, so. A, a great guess around is you. It's a quick play, so you can play it face down and use it during your opponent's turn. Uh, you usually uh, it's best to do stuff like that during your opponent's end phase, so they can't do anything about mm. it. And it's summoned on their turn, and then you can still do stuff on your turn. Yeah, that's why I was just like, uh, just gonna say this now because you technically summoned the ancient gear. I was like, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I read some it some card cannot... effects are like that. Where it's like, even if you summon once that turn, you can still activate it, but you can't summon anything else, like special summoning or anything. But right. that one says specifically the turn you activate it summoning. So. Yeah, yeah, I see that now. For some reason, I read it as you cannot special summon other monsters, oh. and I don't oh, know no. why I read that. There, I know there there's is... cards like that, mm -hmm. so it, it all... They're, they're weird, because they're... There's... They have two different versions they can go by, and it's just like, okay, why can't y'all just have a normal thing of just, you can't summon in general? That way then it's, like, all around, you ain't gotta worry about reading specific effects or fine printing it. Right, exactly. Uh, well, I'm gonna attribute this and do 500 damage. Uh. Ow! Get, the, get that burn in where you can. And so, yeah. here's the interesting thing now, um... Dakota knows, like, sadly, because of player error, Dakota knows what both your face downs are. But that also means if Dakota can get rid of one, it's a tough choice, because obviously Raideki is scary, but you can also get a Dark World on field for free. So. Good luck, Dakota, figuring out what choices to make. Yeah, I'm just going to get one good whack in here. Anything I can do. Oh, and I am my turn. And during your end phase, I'm going to activate. There yeah. we go. <laughs> yes. And special summon. Beige. Fuck. That's not the worst thing. Though. I can. I can do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just okay. Go for it. Yeah. And my turn. Yes. Going to tribute him and summon. Oh, oh she's good beast. Okay. He's fine because he has the same sort of effects as Mirage J again. Yeah. So uh, um negate And then but also negates effects of the opponent's monsters even if they're in the graveyard. So the the safest bet to assume this is a clayman, in which case this is just a tie, but hey, that's not the end of the world. And it's the end of the damage step. I activate hero signal at the end of the damage step, which can be done because yep. 
Yep. Because it's very specific. And is it special summon? No. Nope. Yu-Gi-Oh is so here it comes by Clay Man. This game is so ridiculously intricate in that how <laughs> and when you can do stuff. Like it's it's ludicrous that anyone is supposed to think that this game was aimed at children. It's gotten a lot more complicated, but <laughs> at least it feels like it's gotten a lot more complicated. I guess we are still pretty early in the. I mean, definitely by the time you get to like 2006, 2007, there is a whole myriad of rules regarding targeting and damage step and this and that, that it can just ruin the fun if you get too nitty I activate Miracle Fusion. Ah, uh, but... Okay, so that's a Thunder Giant coming out. Finish that. Finish that. Because even if that's a Karma Cut right now, Teddy can't use a card in hand. Yeah, but I can use this. Ah, oh, yes! Okay, that was that was good. That was really good. Uh, this is not comforting. <laughs> yes. I love hearing Teddy's excitement when she can do things. It's like, and so often I know Teddy, you end up with like just not being able to draw the card you want, and so being able to hear the opposite, going yes, like. Normal summon it's... Wild Heart. I'm going to activate a continuous trap. That's non fine. Non-fusion A. Attack. Due to Skyscraper, 2,500. You take 100. Mm -hmm. And my turn. That's going to be an issue. Yep, yeah, that's going to be an issue. <laughs> is... <sighs> I mean, okay. Assuming Dakota has like access to another card that he can summon, uh, even the strongest single summon you can get would be like Sparkman. You still have one turn if you can't play anything right now. Theoretically. I can, it's just deciding how to use it. Okay. Because I could use it to do damage, or I could use it to deflect some damage. I'll have to... I think I have to do it like this. Okay, so... I... Using... Meta knowledge, I think I know what you just played. So. Normal summon burst in a tricks, battle phase, attack with wingman, or not wingman, wild heart, and attack directly for 12. And my turn. That is um, very unfortunate. Set one card. Battle phase. Hit in for 2700. What was that last card then, Teddy? Uh, yeah. To be honest, Mark, even if there was a monster that could hit me, I had a hero barrier ready to stall out one turn. Yeah, which like, it weirdly enough, yet again, another very close game. It was back and forth. I think, and the, I was also sitting on gift of the martyr. <laughs> that actually would have been very useful. You could have stalled out a turn, martyred. Like, all this all, was. This is why I was like, "Oh no! Why is my ritual card not in here?" <laughs> 
Oh, I was gonna try to set myself up so I could potentially summon get it later, out. But yeah, when 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 we exit the room, go ahead and add that to the deck. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> otherwise, otherwise, he's, there's no reason for him to be in here. Yeah. Um, all right, interesting game. Like honestly, it, it, I, this deck worked better than I thought it would. I have yeah. to admit that. <laughs> so honestly, like reviewing the the tape, uh, my take. I don't know how or if you could have done it differently. It was a it was resources. Did you? I I noticed you burned yourself down to like very few cards in hand, and relying on top deck. Which you know, I don't know if it was a different way to play it. Um, that would have been just fine if I hadn't had to discard magical <laughs> explosion earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there could have been things. All right, so it, room is ready. Room is birdie. Let's be there in a moment. What I honestly got lucky with was that Raigeki turn one and just baiting out monsters. I was waiting to see how many you were going to summon. I was honestly waiting for you to summon Lord of Phantasms or something strong, mm. but you never did. And I'm just like, I'm not chancing the face downs. <laughs> I've been burned by face downs too often. That Raigeki was also really good because popping both of those scars, because that was some good resources that sadly got lost. Like, yeah. How are you going to predict that there's a, a Raigeki in hand, aside from, you know... Yeah. <laughs> apparently, there's always a Raigeki in hand. <laughs> you know, yeah, but if you play like Vin, then you do nothing. And you just lose anyways. I had it in my hands since turn one. Uh, you know, that, that's the problem with trying to predict that they're always going to have a mirror force or something, then you end up losing anyways because um, you just sat there. Didn't we didn't ban mirror force? Oh, yeah, we did, but... Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Theoretically. That kind of logic going, okay, if I'm going to sit here and try to overthink everything they could be doing and then not committing, then I'm probably going to lose. Now, yes, yeah, fine, if you happen to always have a counter and know how to work, like, it's a lot. And this is where the fun side of any meta anything comes from. It's the uh, understanding enough of what the risk is, what the reward is, when is the right time to do this, can I take the risk if that's the risk that's going to happen. It, it's interesting. It, it's lots of thinking and funking and all that. And uh, speaking of thinking, I'm going to not do that and play rock, paper, scissors. Mm -hmm. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. Donk. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. Donk. Oh. I said I'm not thinking. Um, he, oh broke, he broke my fingers. Yeah, let's go first. Let's see how this deck do. Because honestly, it's... It's something. That's what that is. Um, yeah, we're going to start with step one. And yeah, let's summon Disciple of the Forbidden Spell in attack mode. And um, I assume to for monster card, it will try to check out the number. Oh, okay, the, the effect doesn't do anything right now. No, and uh, end turn with that. Set two. Set a third, and my turn. All right. Let's bloop. Okay. Uh, that's pretty cool. I, I like that. I'm going to summon Drillroy. <laughs> Any response? Nope. Uh, Vassal, uh, Drillroy is going to drill. You do be drilling. Hear a signal? Yep. That signals... Hero. Here comes Clay Man. And sadly, that's kind of all I can do. Let's end turn. Thankfully, I can drill. Activate it Skyscraper. Uh huh. Not a fan. Normal Summon Wild Heart. Not a fan. Battle Phase. Attacking Drillroid. Increase to 25. You take. 900. Uh, I will take 9. Um, let, mm, 
Yeah, no, I'll just take the damage. Just debating, and, and honestly, no, it wouldn't be worth it. Uh, well, if it's a trap card, oh, it's unaffected by trap cards. It's not that it can't be activated. Never mind. I'm thinking Mirage Dragon because you said something about that earlier. I was yeah. thinking Mirage. Okay, but it, that's that's something. Okay, so um, is this the play? Is this the play? <laughs> I don't know if this is the play. It seems a bit premature. Nah, this is the play. Uh, let's write Geki. Because there is always a Raigeki in hand. Mm -hmm. And we will summon Sangan. Go into battle, hit in for 27. Uh, when you attack with the 1700 is when I magic cylinder you. Yep, so I will take 17. I only take a thousand. Yeah. Because it reflects it. And is there anything else I want to do? No. Okay. Set one card. Normal summon avian. Mm-hmm. Activate my own Regeki. Okay, yeah. So uh Disciple goes grave, Sangan goes grave, uh Sangan effect activates effect activate, so let's grab hold us. Um, who do I want? Who do I um... Also, don't ask me why I said right kicky the way I did, but it just it felt right. <laughs> just you gotta do what feels feel... right. Um, I think I've been watching too much Supernatural because the the way I said that was the way certain lines are said in there, and it's I think I've been watching too much. Huh. I. Hey. I think I done did mess myself up with this deck building because it's kind of terrible. <laughs> oh no. Because I'm looking at frig of my options. Um yeah, I'm gonna grab a witch. I've I've got turns. I I can take more beatdowns if need be. Nice. Battle phase, whack. Yeah, I'll take down a thousand. And I end my turn. Alrighty. Let's go. Stuff. Yeah. That's stuff, alright. Uh, I'm going to set one. Set two. It could literally be anything. And uh, <laughs> enter. Battle phase, attack with Avian, goes up to 2,000. Uh, yep, yeah. so, boop. Uh, uh, so, which is Actually, destroyed... yeah, it would, it would still go, because technically your attack is higher, so it would still go up to 2,000. Yeah, so, which is destroyed. Chaining the destruction of which, so, which is effect will activate, that's chain link one, chain link two is here. Cathodium blast, Avian is destroyed, we both take uh, uh, half of that monster's attack. Is that its current attack or original attack? Um, Ignore me. That's a face-up monster I control. Can't activate yeah, it. Yeah, I, I think it would, yeah, I think the monster would have to be face-up initially yeah, that's for that to be activated. Ignore me. Can't activate that. You saw nothing. Let's activate which, from which I am gonna grab myself Oh, I needed that. God, my knuckles were stuck for a while. 
Yeah, let's grab a Hydra get on. Not a good card, but it is a card. And I have my turn. Alrighty. Let's roll. Uh, we are going to step one. Uh, yeah. We are gonna summon Hydrogeton. In response. Yep. Uh, battle, we will attempt to hit in with Hydrogeton. Hero barrier, negate the attack. Uh, yep, that is... Expected. Um, enter. Normal seven bubble ban. Uh huh. Pack in with avian. You take four hundred. Uh, yep. Yeah. And then in response to that, activate Chthonian. So we both take we take four hundred. So I'm taking eight. You're taking four. Uh, wait. So it's like damage to both players equal equal to half. So you only take four. But also oh, you take eight. From Avion. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's where I, that's where my confusion led. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And my turn. Very advanced mathematics on my part there. Okay. So so, uh, let me just check this. Okay. I think. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna activate Pot of Avarice. There we go, it's working. So I'm gonna slap the five monsters in my graveyard back into my deck. So, Drillroid. Disciple, Tangan, Witch, Hydro, Gedon. Let's give that a little shuffle. And let's shuffle it two more times to make this certain. And then we draw two. Draw four. Okay. Options, 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 options. Now. Okay, so I think this is how this works. I activate Karma Cut, and for cost, I'm going to send Demise, King of Armageddon, to Banish your avion. Okay. I'm then going to activate Monster Reborn. <laughs> um. This is why I'm not 100% because it just that you can ritual summon. It doesn't say you can only special summon by ritual. Well, it has to be a monster summon. Uh, you have to summon it first, and it, it, it that I don't think you could summon if it's discarded like that unless it's like a regular monster. I mean, let me just quickly Google it, because I do have another option, if need be, so, uh, can I... Monster Reborn, a... Oh. Let's see. Uh... Um... Okay, must first be special summoned, so... Okay, yep, yeah. cool, cool, cool. So, let me just... Monster Reborn back to your hand? Or are you discarding a different monster? Are you okay with me discarding a different monster if you want yeah, to? Yeah, I'm fine no, with you, you switching misplayed. that up. I'm, 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 no, I'm fine with you switching that up if you still want to use your Monster Reborn. Yeah, because the other choice I had was uh, discarding Saber Beetle. And then Monster Reborn Saber Beetle onto field. Okay, so now we know. Uh, 
Yeah, it's like ritual rituals are. A lot of them don't say it, but a lot, the there are ones that say their wording is it must first be special summoned. Is why I was curious and going. It doesn't say it must first be, but yeah, all right. Uh, so then we will battle and just whack in with saber beetle, and then we will end turn. That one card and my turn. Alrighty, draw. Okay, that's um that's frosted. Alright. Um battle phase. Attack. I that's... take fourteen. Yep. Piercing damage, let's go. Um, I do have to be cautious of a Wild Heart or Sparkman. Uh, Sparkman! Yep. yep. There it go. Skyscraper's a damn nuisance. It is. Uh, <laughs> it, it is a lot to do. But take. I'm going to do one further. No, you're not. Uh, actually, you're right. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I have to. I have to, I have to do this because I could my hand. I couldn't right click to cancel it. First battle phase, attack. You okay. take two hundred. So, during damage step, I activate rising energy and pitch saber beetle for cost. My saber beetle's attack increases by fifteen hundred. All right, so that goes. So that puts you at thirty-nine. I was at twenty-six. So I take thirteen. Yep. Well then, okay, fine. Second, <laughs> miracle fusion. Oh no! Uh, goodbye, you... Sparkman. Goodbye, Avian, and goodbye, Bubble Man. I don't like this. The special summon elemental hero Tempest. Uh. Yeah, you weren't supposed to like that. So I... End my turn. Womp womp. Okay. Well enough, if I would have done that before, and you still activated Rising Energy, I would have still lost Tempest, and I would have been screwed. Yeah, so actually, smart play to, to wait it. Um... Okay, this is... Honestly, my fear was it was the freaking fusion one that would just send it back to my deck, or what Teddy did, and steal it. Hmm. Um, okay, so... I need to do a Sun Kings. Obviously, you have no cards in hand, so it's whatever you top deck. Uh, Regeki's already been played, so I don't need to worry about that coming. Um, worst case scenario, you top deck... Sparkman, and I'm taking 2,000, uh, 400 from that, and... Oh, no, because it was Sparkman, you could kill that, and that would... wouldn't quite be game, but it'd be dangerous. So... If I go to defense, and I'm guaranteed to almost take 2,800. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna pass. Um, I'm fully expecting to card. take damage. You take 400. Yes, I do. Because will... Skyscraper doesn't activate. Yeah, so... Sunday, blue, brave. Okay. And then my turn. I have something I can do, but I need to draw a good card. Good card, go! You are not a good card. I set one. Enter. That one card. I activate the effect of Tempest, mm -hmm. which by sending one card I control to the grave, which is Spark Blaster, mm -hmm. I target, it never says it can't be targeted. Yeah. I target itself, tell. and as long as it's on the field, it cannot be destroyed by battle. Yep. 
I attack you face down. All right, you attack my Goki pawn. Oh, oh my god, it's it's cute. So with Goki pawn, I can add a uh, an insect monster with fifteen hundred or less attack from my deck to my hand, and uh, I am going to add. It's actually the only thing I can add. Another Goki pawn. And then my turn. Okay, come on. And what I need. And Tempest, and just letting you know, Tempest effect is permanent. It's not uh, just for that turn. It is a yeah. permanent effect. Okay, I am going to step one. And pass. I normal summon Sparkman. Uh huh. Go to battle. Pack your face down. That is another go. Three bone frog. Oh. And I'm taking twenty eight big one. Mm hmm. Okay. Frick! I can't do my thing now. And I end my turn. Um. Okay. So I I have lost. Um, uh. You could special summon your tree born frog. I I can't, but I don't know if it'll let me do anything. Okay, so draw. Stand by. Three one frog. Let's special summon that. That um uh, so it just says special summon, so yep, tree one in defense. Um Golly oh gosh. Yeah, then let's set and then turn. If you draw a monster, I've lost. I normal summon mid shield gardener. Ah, uh, okay. Goodbye, frog. Frog, go bye bye. Goodbye, your face down. You live for another turn. Uh, uh so okay, Goki Pawn activates. So I can add another Goki Pawn. And you take 100 damage. One whole hundred. Uh, and then main phase two, activate the effect to set him. Yep. And end my turn. Okay, let's... Because he's only under attack. Like, I'm going to really leave him in vulnerable position. Oh, this is so frustrating. You get some in your frog again, by the way. Uh, yes, yes, I can, and that is a because it, I don't believe it's a once. Uh, it's just it's just once per turn. Yeah, so long as I have no spells and traps on field, I can do it. So. Mm -hmm. Boop, froggy. Now, ribbit. More like rip. Bit. Oh yeah, it is a big fat rip. Um, as I sit here contemplating my options. I that one and enter. Oh. Activate Monster Reborn. Damn it. Yep, that's game. All right, special summon your Saber Beetle. How dare so you? <laughs> and I destroy your frog with Saber Beetle. Yeah. So, the the reason I'm slightly frustrated, um, and so I was um and ahhing about playing this, but the thing is, it couldn't quite kill you. You'd be left on one hundred. Uh. Actually, it's lowest. I mean, oh, yeah. So what my plan was was to summon Hydra Dead on, crash into Sparkman, 
destroy Tempest, but I'd die and you'd be left on 100. So I was desperately trying to figure out how can I deal like 200 points of damage and force a tie. And I just, <laughs> I just couldn't. And then what I was slightly uh, irritated about is I just could I once you whittle me down past two thousand, I couldn't make use of Armageddon. Like, ah. Oh. I mean, it was a pretty good heavy hitter, uh, but I'll... I don't think uh, you have actually been here because he's what level? What is he? Uh, he's level eight. Two. But the the thing I wanted with Armageddon. Is um I want it to... the effect, yeah. Although now I'm looking at it, I'm a freaking dumbass. I had which I had Hydra get on. I could have ended the world up like demise out, destroy Sparkman, activate Chthonian Blast, force a tie. Could have done that. Didn't think about it. Oh, anyway, well. uh, and that is uh, and Bardic, it wouldn't have worked. Mm-hmm. I had a hero barrier face down. Well, yeah, that that also would have done it. So uh, that that is a loss for me there. Uh, but hey, I, I'm okay with. Oh that. my god, this is the second. This is only the second time I've ever held the crown. That that that's pretty good. I mean, that was that like week two or week three where it was a like a perfect three way time. Like, all right, you know, <laughs> there's been a few where it hasn't been like a definitive winner. So, yeah. Teddy. I was actually scared because you kept destroying everything. And I was like, oh, he's got the Saber Beetle. I can't get around that. And then it was like, Avion. Okay. Draw Sparkman. Just. No. <laughs> no. I can finally do it. <laughs> Getting Tempest out on the field is in of itself uh, a feat of your Yu Gi Oh skill. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you can hold your head up high with that. Um, the the room should be open. I'm just clicking away from that because I did, someone decided they were they were gonna have a funny on screen name. I'm like, yeah, no, that's not that funny. So, What's the funny on screen name? Oh, uh, someone with the screen name COVID nineteen is fake. Oh, oh my god, where was that? Uh, it's in Unlimited, and it's like... Bruh. That is, not, uh, that is not the take. Yeah, to... <laughs> that is uh, not the take. Um, yeah, I don't see the duel there, Bardic. Okay, I might have been a total dungus. Uh, so let's try again. Da -da -da -dum. There it is. Yeah, I, I goofed it. I am so proud of myself. I finally made my heroes work. Oh, that was good. <laughs> that was a good hero deck. Uh, let's accept that. All right. Bardic, do you want to know, do you want to know the funniest part? What? I literally just added Mirage Dragon to my deck last week and brought it in again this week. <laughs> and I didn't even use Mirage Dragon. It, it's there. It's sat there waiting for it, it, its perfect opportunity. All right, Teddy. Let's see if you can force me into the ban chair, and then I'll ruin everyone's matter. I, I don't know what I'll ban, but it'll be interesting. Oh, oops! Uh, I'm an, I'm a dumbass now. You you you're sat taking in the I, the highs of victory. No, I literally like I'm like okay. I start typing in the password, and I literally type in Bardic, and I'm like, wait a minute, no, it's Bardic Draft. After I already hit enter, I'm like, I'm a dumb. Alrighty. Uh, so, duel number three. Uh, good luck, Teddy. Let's go there. Damn. I'm beginning to see a pattern with Teddy. Well, and I don't like it. So far, everyone who has won Rock, Paper, Scissors has lost today. So, do with that what not you will. Start. It's not a bad start, actually. That is a very strange hand I have here. Oh, mine's also a very strange hand, but... What I can't believe, though, is once again in our duel, Bardic, 
I also started with Regeki again. <laughs> I, I think it was in my opening hand as well. Like, I'm going to set. set it's one just there. Card. It's just there. <laughs> going to activate a continuous spell. Mm, what oh. does this do? Okay. Ooh, that is. That is for a very. I'm going to need to make a card deck with this. Going to summon that. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, excuse me. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, uh, while y'all are going, I'm gonna dip to go grab food. Yeah, go for it. Uh, it's not gonna let me. Uh, I I didn't want to do that. That's fine. I I'm I'm not seeing anything. I I just realized that if I do that, I can't do the other thing. So. Uh, all right. Hold on. But I am going to tribute this to deal 500 damage to you. I will happily take five. Well, maybe not happily, but yeah. I will not complain about it. Oh. Okay. See, now I'm just in a strange position. Um, you... Yeah. I'm just gonna normal summon chainsaw insect. And Yeah, I'm gonna activate this. Yep. Oh, banish. I will pitch that. <laughs> That's why I was like, wait a minute, no, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> back up, back up, hold on. Oh, a smart plan. Uh so I end turn. That was my one play. Yeah, I don't have a lot of plays here either. So that's unfortunate. Uh, okay, so let's get that. Play. I'm going to set one and pass. Oh boy, the longer I play this game, the more danger I'm in. Okay. I am going to... Normal Summon Drillroid? And hit him for 16? Oh. I'm, I'm very cautious about everything I'm doing, and uh, enter. Okay, that's better. I don't like that. Hmm. Uh. Um, yeah, let's sacrifice Goki Pond and summon Saber Beetle. I just realized this doesn't work anyways. Damn it. Uh, let's Sable Beetle into defense. Oh, if you're gonna do that, then it does activate. Okay, uh, Scar activates, so you are adding a Dark Wall to hand? Yes. Uh, you are also taking 900, uh, 1900 from Sable Beetle. This is what oh, I get. it does piercing damage. Yeah, this is what I get for being greedy, and fueling your hand is... Not a good thing for Dark Worlds. I didn't want to do that. Um, we will then also hit him with Drill Rod for 16. Which is what total that would um, be? 19 and 16, 35. I think I can count. Yeah, I might be in trouble here. <laughs> um, little bit. You have one turn. To... Yeah, I can do that. I mean, that's helpful. It could be worse. I will summon Zer, the Knight of Dark World. Mm -hmm. 
We'll set one card. Uh, attack Drillroid and I lose two. 